Hello and welcome back to Let's Play James Fighters Anthology. We'll be continuing once again with the Ukraine campaign today, and let's go attend our morning briefing to see what we're doing for today. You gotta hand it to those Ruskies, they're making some quick progress. They've advanced as far as Donetsk and Poltava, swallowing up Ukrainian air bases along the way and moving in squadrons of interceptors. We'll be striking these air bases hard over the next few days, hopefully before any of them are fully operational. The Russians recently deployed a MiG-29 wing to a major air base outside of Donetsk. The Air Force is sending in a 40-mile-long guerrilla to shut the place down. You'll provide top cover for the leading elements as they enter and exit the target area. So it sounds like we'll be doing combat air patrols for a couple of Air Force P-52s. Tarcap, USS Eisenhower, CVN 69. Date, May 19th. Local time, 0700 hours. Weather, fog. Situation, the Russians have seized major air bases near Cherkov and Donetsk. Big 29 squadrons have already been deployed to both locations. Mission objective, provide target cover for a strike package attacking the Donetsk Air, air Base. Order of battle, recommended aircraft F-14D, recommended weapons AIM-9M, AIM-54, AIM-120. Threat suppression data, ground opposition probable SA-6s, air opposition probable B-29s. We have two wingmen, but they are only average skill level, so we'll have to keep a closer eye on them. It looks like we'll be escorting B-52s over Karkov. Karkov. I think it's Karkov, but... And then on to Donetsk. And then we'll be breaking with them after we exit the sea of Azov over the Black Sea, at which point I presume their escort will pick them up to wherever they're based out of. And we'll continue on and land at the Eisenhower. Uh, one thing to note, it is very mountainous, or at least somewhat mountainous in this region. And uh, our altitude indicator gives us um, altitude above sea level, not ground level, so we can't rely on it when flying in the fog. We'll take our trusty F-14D Tomcat, uh, we'll take Sparrows, I'm not going to use Phoenix missiles on this mission, I don't think we have to, and since we probably won't be able to get off all our Sparrows before the enemy fighters enter within range, we'll take up, we'll take a few less Sparrows and a few more Sidewalkers, so let's fly with that. We see there's MiGs painting us from behind already, but worse off, we have expert flankers in the air. Now those are the Russian to the 15 more or less. And, uh, and we have MiG-29s that are experiencing now, so we'll have to keep a close eye on our window on this mission. For now, Let's intercept these guys. We're going to be burnt. Hopefully we can get these guys real quick, and then we can uh, turn around and intercept the other guys. So let's dive, make sure we aren't shooting against the ground fire here. Since while these girls are better, some of it still flies. There we go, they're above the horizon. And we'll keep our wingmen with this. Normally I would order them off to engage the other flight makes, but I uh, I want to keep a close eye on them. So that's what we're doing. Alright, we'll have our wingmen target that one, and we'll take the leader. Alright, we're good so far. Alright. That was absolutely perfect. I wish I could order only one wingman to engage, so that way we aren't wasting missiles, but... Let's fly over to these guys now.
Guys, attention, that seems worth the thing. Apex inbound, drop it down. Fox one. Close it. Keep taking damage. I lost him. Wait. Fox one. Close it. Apex inbound, drop it down. Close it. We've got him now. Apex inbound. Drop it down. We've got him now. Apex inbound. Drop it down. We're here now. All right. Last one. All from. Apex inbound. Drop it down. Nope, we still have one mate. Get this guy. I'm taking a shot. He's at the hitbox. Not even right. Hitbox. I was hoping my mate would get two more odds, but at least they aren't dead. Inbound, drop tap. I don't want to take the side one and drop my wingman right there. But this one, I think I can take. All right. So. Inbound to waypoint Bravo, bearing one four six. Here's the B fifty twos. We're going to uh, meet up with them. I don't. See. So our gears contact is probably going to be based at the nest, and they're probably going to screw them all in or something. Else. Uh, they're within 25, 27 miles, so we can use uh, radar range. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's stick close to these guys. I don't want uh, to use them. We also got to start keeping them out of the field. We've a lot to do. To so, uh, engage those rear makes and then we'll turn around to engage those makes. I was gonna say, I thought there were three of these guys. I don't know why I was gonna see them. Echelon formation, tighten up.
nothing on the radar yet. So we're losing following the uh, waypoint. Tighten up. No, we're not tightening up. Triple A, you're on the spot flow. Seven miles, please advise. Combat spread. Um. Sam Lodge. We see they have MIG station there, and one on the runway, but I don't want to fly into the fog for the reasons of I'm taking that damage. I mentioned. Sam Damn them. The Sams are going to shred our MIG. But hopefully we can get them when they're taking off. Apex inbound, drop down, inbound, waypoint Charlie, bearing 189, maintain Angel 10. Apex inbound, drop down. When they take off. Contact, Triple A, New York, 11 o'clock flow, 3 miles, please advise, Apex inbound, drop down. Or if, we're get, if we get really lucky, the B-52s might just destroy them on the ground. They should be over the target zone. Proceed to Waypoint Delta, bearing 188, descent to Angel 4. You can hear them from the airbase, so let's see what happens. Now we just have to. It looks like the B 52s didn't, weren't actually assigned to drop bombs. That's unfortunate. They're just doing a waypoint addition, I think. So we'll keep an eye on this guy when he takes off. We'll uh, turn we'll around and set up. A line of press is very good, especially in this game if you want to conceal your squadron until you're in close range. Because then your radar can't really pick them out until you're 10 miles away. You've seen that how our one contact is split into two and three. They tend to split a bit earlier if you have an echelon, most especially if you're in combat, combat spread. So if you all got together and uh, did a tight spread, line astern, as long as they're approaching you head on, they'd have difficulty uh, picking up how many people there actually are in your group, which might be used, more useful for multiplayer. I don't think it really matters so much with the AI in this game. So I guess those make some way into this game. Contact, AI AAA, you're on 6 o'clock slow. One more mile, please advise. Let's expand our range to 50 miles, because I don't want anything sneaking up on us. Please stop our radar. Mission accomplished. Okay, so mission accomplished. Please accomplish. We'll, uh... That was a lot less action than I was expecting, to be honest. I mean, we took no damage ourselves, and our women took, uh... What did they take? Wingman 1 took half, and Wingman 2 took none, so... Now for the hardest part of this mission. Landing. Switch over to navigational mode. Good 
southbound to Waypoint Delta, bearing 186, descent to Angel 4. We'll finish flying out the waypoints at least till where it starts laying out stuff with the carrier so we can get a head start on that. Meet west. We're almost home. And we should still have, okay, we got plenty of fuel. A ton, what a no. Very reliant on the landing signal officer using his radar Within as far as giving us instructions. Go right. Okay. Right, we shall go. Go right. Two miles. Lower. 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 Go right. Lower. Call the ball. Lower. Oh yeah, we gotta go. Lower. A lot lower, but. Lower. Lower. Uh, come on. Lower. Damn it. Get down. Waypoint Alpha bearing three five two. Angel we gotta make it on a pass. So, pay more attention to the altitude. And even he can't see us, so he's probably relying on the radar. Not going to compensate by going higher. Four miles. Go left. Yeah, I figured that was going to compensate. Go left. Lower. Okay. So lower. We're about good there. Now we just gotta lower Three ourselves. Miles. Lower. Let's go left a bit. Lower. lower. There. Lower. 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 One mile. Oh, I see it. Go left. Fire. Too much bang. On the ball. We are on the ball, gentlemen. Lower. Fair land. All right. Not the best, certainly. We should have pitched up higher, but when the when the fog is that bad, especially when I can't see my my little uh, landing dots, it just gets very difficult very fast. We could do if we wanted to, but this is more of a challenge, so, you know what, at least up until a couple years ago, more realistic. Nowadays, they're coming up with these assistive landing technologies that will, I think will generally couple with, like, the computer and sensors on the, uh, really, dude, 
with the computer and sensors on the, um, the carrier, and maybe with the aircraft's own sensors too, and they'll basically land the aircraft for you, at least from what I've read. So, uh, you know, it might be more realistic now, but the other thing too is, if you use the automated landings in this game, they'll always give you like a 50% or around 50%. They won't, uh, you know, just like the wingmen always get 50%, so doing this lets us have a chance at least of scoring those good landings, although the trade-off is we can get some of the bad landings too. Debrief, USS Eisenhower CVN-69, date May 19th. Mission target, resolution, success. Nice work protecting that strike package. We destroyed the two targets. Okay. I feel like there were more, uh... More, um... Objectives for that mission than it's showing us, at least behind the scenes, but... Uh, yeah, we got a 50% landing rate, we got a 56%, fair enough. They've generally been scoring low, I think, in the past missions. Took 45% damage. We got three kills, they got one. Uh, we'll repair, do our maintenance, and uh, that's it for this episode. So tune in next time to see what the, the afternoon this mission will be. See you then.